Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lama Day. The future is now. the ghetto this is episode two of adulted is the ghetto get me out <laughs> so today we are going to be speaking about commuting on london transport <laughs> because bro bro okay i think i'm ready to talk because I've had enough and when I say commuting on TFL I mean that as like as a working babe because it's different like normally so obviously I'm a Londoner essentially I'm I live in Essex but it doesn't really matter too tough so yeah I'm a Londoner and I've been I know how to use public transport do you know what I mean like I know how to move around using the tube the bus all of these things but Fam, since working here, I've realised that the navigation of it has just been completely different because people are wild and people don't know how to behave themselves. Like, I really didn't want this to be a rant, but I might just have to because people be crazy. Like, people are crazy. Literally, yeah, cool. My first day of work, first day to a job, you obviously have to be early in it. I planned my time so well, I even gave myself, I think it was, what, a whole hour extra to make sure I'm not late. The district line, that godforsaken district line that every day there's a problem somewhere, sometime, somehow, decided that I was going to stop at West Ham because there's signal failure in what, Bromley by Bo or something like that. Cool. Because of that, yeah, I had to go on the Jubilee line and get to work. To get into like central London the amount of heads I saw I didn't know there was that many people in this in that lived around this area because it was a lot it was a lot it's not the district line is not frequent enough it doesn't get you to from point A to point B at the time that it should also it's just like oh fam it's just too much fam I actually had to say a prayer that I wasn't late to work I still got there on time I think I even had 15 minutes to spare, but if not for God, I don't know what would have happened. I might have been late on my first day because of the public transport. It's not give yourself extra time because how much extra time must one give them themselves? How much? What? Two hours? Three hours? Just in case it decides to mess up, which it probably ultimately will. It's a lot. Now guys, I don't even think you get it. Like when I say commuting is literally the definition of ghetto. Like when I mean adult in the ghetto know that commuting is the most ghettoist thing of them all like i just oh, i nearly fell off the train how can i fall off a train like i'm i know i might be slim in it but i ain't i'm not that small for me to be being shifted everywhere but i fully nearly fell off the train do you know why that is because everyone is hustling up bustling it's like take a breath chill out why are you in a hurry my guy we are all Sorry, I was getting very riled up there, so I decided to take a minute and just breathe. I literally nearly fell off the train because people were hustling and bustling, pushing, shoving. I was at the front of this train, the C2C to be specific, and people decided to be pushing their way and I couldn't even hold up like my balance. Tends, it tends to be pretty good, decent is what I believed. But because I haven't even put my foot on the actual train, I'm still on the platform, trying to put my foot on the train so I could lift up a foot and enter the train. You've pushed me before my foot and then I'm falling back. 
no guys, I had to touch a bald man's head to remain balanced. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was like, you're right, you're right. Thankfully, he was nice because there's some people who are crazy and rude as hell. And I was like, yeah, you okay? I was like, yeah, sorry, just lost my balance. Sorry, I stepped on someone's foot with my dog Martins when I was falling back. Oh, I was just a mess, mate. It was just, oh. And like, it got so bad, yeah, because... I would literally stand for my whole hour journey to get to work. And I have bad knees. Like, I do. I've had surgery. I've had, I have bad knees. And I couldn't stand for that long. So I was like, you know what, yeah? This isn't that deep. I'm not going to do all of this so I can get to work for what, 15 minutes early? It got so bad, I fully had to change my whole route because I said I can't stand for this long. And the thing is, yeah, the Jubilee line it's not even as bad as like the central line the central line is literally hell on earth i literally remember taking it i think it was the hottest day of the year i think i had mcflurry and it was just melting and i was like what even is this 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 no like guy it's not free it's not free to travel when you're an adult like i me and my young 21 year like 21 years of life have to pay the same amount as the director of Goldman Sachs just to be able to commute. Pardon? No, no, honestly, two years ago, yeah, tell you interesting facts, I started a whole petition because I had enough. Had enough. I said, we not we need free travel. Free travel for 18 to 21 year olds because you're not going to automatically get money now that you are 21 or now that you fi you finish college. So why does the why does the Oyster card now automatically turn blue and everybody has the same pay the same amount that's so unfair no i might honestly start restart the petition because i've had enough i've actually had enough it's a law no guys it's a law people don't use their brain like it made me so sad that i had to go on the jubilee line because i hate that train like it's now it's, it might as well be as bad as the central line but i don't think anything will be bad as the central line imagine taking a central line at a bank during rush hour you might as well just fall into that mind the gap you need to definitely mind that gap on that place because you will fall down and your whole body will enter why is the gap so wide like the thing is yeah we are paying for this each year each year in january the prices go up my price to go from the zone into zone one has increased by a good 10 pounds and that makes a difference that is 120 pounds in a year that has been increased by that's a lot of money but i'm not seeing any changes in the service i'm receiving i'm not seeing any improvement that cross rail that they've been doing for how many years where is it elizabeth queen elizabeth line whatever you called it where is it tell me no tell me because this that thing here it stopped me from going in from coming back home from uni like correctly i had to take every single weekend row replacement row replacement row replacement and yet till this day i still can't see it it said well you're gonna end in december 2018 we're fully in 2020 now the amount of money has been spent where is it no show me it because i can't see it i can't other thing is that people will squeeze themselves as if they are a twig Try to enter when you can see it's full and oh sorry just one more what to air to air sorry had to take another break because if only you just waited two more minutes i will not be dying of suffocation right now what if i was claustrophobic do you know what what if i had a disability what visible or non-visible disability is not considered if like i don't know how people honestly like i don't even know how people with disabilities are able to commute because it's so like not inclusive it's so inaccessible like it's rowdy it's loud it's oh my god and people smell like human they stink people don't shower in the morning and they're trying to be all up in your business oh my god i hate it no i actually hate it because people don't know how to look out for others and don't know how to think maybe i should not jump on this train no i think i'm the only one that matters so yeah i'm going to get on the train as well thank you for that thank you round of applause to you thank you i truly appreciate that waste man no honestly like i don't even know what way to get about it because 
cool even if i was to start driving i can't drive into congestion areas during i can't drive to work so what difference does it make it does like i'm paying insurance for bands because i'm only using my cars on friday to monday friday to sunday so tell me no tell me like what can we actually do to improve commuting because i'm tired of being being as ghetto as it is that like, goes so bad like oh my god i don't want to rant anymore it's really angered my soul and i don't like being angry but please, we've got to do like, please, my plea to you, all you commuters, use your brain, use your flipping brain. Be considerate, maybe just wait for the next one and give yourself extra time so you don't always have to be rushing. I'm sorry guys, I'm tired of ranting. That's it for now. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>